All right, hello everybody. Today I'm just going to be showing you real quickly how to uh, update or install the software onto the FOB GCC. I've had some people get some recently and they want to put the new updates on, so I thought I'd just go ahead and run through it real quickly. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'll link it below, is you're going to want to go and download the Arduino IDE. You can just get this right here. Download that. I'm just going to put it on my desktop so it'll be right up here. And then we'll go ahead and just get that installing. And then while that's installing, we'll go ahead and grab the newest version. As of now, it's point zero, well, 0 0.26. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick. Just download it into the same place. And uh, go ahead and extract that out. This will be a little easier later. And then at this point, we'll just be waiting. So I'll go ahead and skip to when this is finished installing. All right, so Arduino IDE has finished installing. We'll go ahead and finish, run the IDE. And we're just not gonna bother opening up the actual software that needs to be flashed on yet. We're just gonna go ahead and get the IDE set up because there's a few dependencies you're gonna have to install. So, one second. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into this libraries tab. You're gonna be searching for four of them. I'll put them below, but the first thing you're gonna be wanting to get is the curve fitting. I believe it's by Rotario. So you'll go ahead and install that. I already have it installed, but this is what you do. Go ahead and install that. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to grab is the Boulder Light Systems, and then we're gonna be getting the Eigen package. And that's uh, by Brian Taylor. Go ahead and install that. Next up, we're going to be grabbing Bounce 2. Bounce 2. I believe this one's by Tomic O. Fredericks. So go ahead and install that. And we've got one more to grab, and it'll be the Teensy Timer Tool. Teensy Timer. So with this one, I already have it installed, but for you, whenever you install it, you're going to want to grab the version 1.0.0. Um, you'll just go into this little click down bar. You're going to want to select 1.0.0, and you'll hit install. I'm not going to do it because then I'd be installing one of these different versions, but go ahead and install that. And then before we go ahead to flashing, we got one last thing to do. And that's essentially just adding the Teensy, uh, the Teensy board onto the IDE. So essentially, you just want to go to File, Preferences, and then down here, it has the additional board manager URLs. Um, you're just going to want to paste this in. I'll put this in the description also. This will just be the link to the TNC, and it's just going to be the package for running that TNC. Well, maybe not. I'm not sure exactly. But while you're in this window, you're also going to want to click the show files inside the sketches. Um, this is just going to make it easier down the line when we have to uncomment one of the lines. So go ahead and click that. Make sure that's clicked. And then you'll put that in there. Make sure that the URL is in there. That's all we're doing in this window. The next thing you're going to go up to the boards, you're just going to go ahead and type in Teensy. And I've already installed it, but you want to install the Teensy by Paul. Yeah, and then uh, go ahead and install that. I'll go ahead and do it again. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do for um, setting up your IDE. So the next thing you're going to want to do, and this is just going to make a lot easier for you, uh, there's different approaches you could do for this, but I like to just go ahead and go into Arduino, take that FOB GCC file that you extracted, grab this one specifically, and just drag that into the documents Arduino file, because this is where it's going to load in your sketches. All right, so we're in here. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and actually yeah, open that up and then get that FOB GCC open. So in the window, you technically don't need to uncomment anything from the Eno file itself. It's in fobgcc. You'll open up that file structure, go into common, and then it's down to the fobgcc.h. This is where you're actually going to be editing the code, and it's just so it can specify which version you have. You're going to want to go to whichever version you have. If you have one of my fobs right now, they all have the fob 1.2.x with the Teensy 4.0. So you'll find that. You'll go over to these two backslashes or forward slashes and you'll just uncomment them, leaving the hashtag. You'll end up with something like this. Just make sure you save that. And then essentially, you're just going to want to check and make sure that this does compile. Go ahead and hit verify. It'll compile your sketch. This might take a little bit. I'll skip and verify that it does work. 
So it ended up compiling, didn't throw any errors, and I ended up with this window, and this would be what pops up to flash the TNC, but I'm not actually uploading and flashing any code, so that was just for testing. Next up is gonna be actually plugging in and getting the uh, TNC set up to be flashed. So I'll go ahead and turn on my camera for a second so you guys can see this. So I'll grab my controller. For the sake of time, I went ahead and unscrewed the six screws on it, so you'll have to do that. And then next up, you'll just take that back off. Get your motherboard out, flip it over. What we're gonna be interfacing with is the Teensy itself up here. So what we're gonna need to do is plug into this USB-C. The only thing you wanna make sure you don't do is have the controller plugged in while you do this. Always have this unplugged while you're uh, flashing onto the Teensy or you just never wanna have them both plugged in. So I've got this USB-C cable. Make sure your USB-C, -C, or not USB-C, USB micro cable has um, data transfer capabilities, otherwise it won't be able to flash. But you'll just wanna plug that in. You might hear a little noise when it does get plugged in. So, it's plugged in at the very moment. Um, once it's plugged in, I'll go ahead and get rid of this so we can kinda of look on screen and go through that. So, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the uh, drop down here, and you're gonna to wanna to select the COM5 serial for the TNC 4.0. If I unplug it, it's not gonna be an option, but once you do plug it in, you can select it. So go ahead and select that. Another thing you can notice is it just outputted all this information into the serial monitor. You can open that just by clicking this toggle over here. But essentially whenever you plug the fob in, it's gonna give you a little bit of information of what's flashed on it. So let's see if, if we can get that information. Yeah, so it just outputted this. Currently I'm on the software uh, point two five. So we're gonna go ahead and flash 0.26 on there, which is what we have right now. So we'll go ahead and, as you can see, we got the serial monitor up. We'll go ahead and clear that out so we don't get confused. Next thing we're gonna do is just upload the sketch. So I have it plugged into my TNC right now. We are gonna go ahead and just hit that upload button. We're just gonna wait a little bit to compile. It might take a little bit long depending on your computer, but. Essentially, it has just been programmed sometimes, and I'm not the one to really know. Sometimes it'll automatically set it into um, program mode, but I'll go ahead and turn the camera on. If it uh, is not flashing, sometimes right, it'll, it'll say in the dialogue up here. Essentially, all you'll have to do is, uh, let me turn the camera on. Press this little button up here to enter that manual mode so you can uh, flash it if, if you need to do that, but sometimes it'll automatically do it. In this case, I didn't have to do that, but I've had to do that in the past a few times. Could be wrong. But essentially, I know that it's flashed because down here in that serial output, it's giving me that the software version now is 0 .0 or 0 0.26, so I know that it's been flashed properly. Um, we'll go ahead and clear the output, though, get rid of this dialog, and then we'll just unplug it and then replug it back in. If I can do it. And then as you can see, it now says uh, 0.26 software version. So that is how you flash the FOB motherboards. It might change over time. I'll try and keep it updated. But uh, let me know if you have any problems. And thanks for watching.